What's up guys, Justin here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are talking about workhorse stock and I will be giving an update on some developments that have happened since my last video on workhorse stock about a week ago. And there have been quite a number of positive developments with workhorse stock. So if you are currently invested in workhorse stock or thinking of investing in the company soon, make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. But first, go ahead and hit that like button because the more likes this video gets, the more people it gets recommended to, which means more people will watch it, which then means more people will discover workhorse stock, which of course means more people will buy workhorse stocks, therefore causing the price of workhorse stock to go up, which in the end means we all make a lot of money. So if you want to make money, hit the like button. It's only logical. The first development I want to discuss is the United States Postal Service contract. Now there are a number of different companies competing for this contract and it is a big deal because it is a $6.3 billion contract that is for somewhere around 180,000 trucks. Also Workhorse is the only competitor who is offering a battery electric version which helps them out tremendously in my opinion. Also the USPS has said that it might split up the contract between multiple companies. So as the adoption of electric vehicles begins to take off, I think there is a high likelihood that Workhorse will get selected for at least a portion of the contract. Now the companies bidding for the contract had to get their bids in by July 14th, which has come and gone. And I searched the internet high and low for information on this, but came up with nothing. So there is no word yet on who has been selected, and I do not believe that there is a set in stone date for a decision either. So we will just have to wait and see. So even though we don't know yet what has come of this USPS contract, I wanted to let you guys know what was in the pipeline for Workhorse stock, and we'll definitely keep you updated once I find out more about this. Now, if Workhorse stock is awarded all or some of the contract, it will be big for the stock and it will result in the stock going up a lot. Okay, moving on, we have an important distinction in the state of California that was given to workhorse vehicles. And this is a little confusing to explain because it involves the government, but basically workhorse C-series vans were awarded Executive Order A-445-003 from the California Air Resource Board, or the CARB. All this means really is that workhorses C-series vans are now designated as zero emissions vehicles in the state of California, which in and of itself doesn't do much for Workhorse. But having the designation from CARB is necessary because it now makes Workhorse C-Series vans eligible to apply for vouchers through the HVIP program, which stands for the California Hybrid and Zero Emissions Truck and Bus Voucher Incentive Project. Not sure how they got HVIP out of all of that, but I guess it works somehow. Now, Workhorse still has to be accepted into the HVIP program in order to receive the vouchers, but if they are accepted into the program, it will be a major growth stimulus for the company. That's because the voucher applies at the time of sale and immediately reduces the cost of the vehicle for the purchaser. So there is no waiting for a rebate check or a tax credit. Now, the one difficulty for Workhorse is that the waitlist for the HVIP vouchers is so big that the program ran out of money for the current fiscal year and is not issuing any new vouchers until later this year, sometime around November. So the executive order will not result in any immediate benefits for Workhorse until later this year at the earliest. But the executive order is significant for Workhorse in another way because California has also passed the Advanced Clean Truck Bill, which requires manufacturers of commercial vehicles to start selling at least one electric vehicle by 2024, and then will require them to move exclusively to electric trucks by 2045. And while California has set the most aggressive timeline for switching to all electric trucks, other states are following California's lead. 13 other states have adopted Section 177 of California's Clean Air Act that adds additional regulations to commercial vehicles on top of the EPA regulations. So now that Workhorse has been approved by both the EPA and the CARB, they are free to sell their C-Series delivery vans in all 50 states for as long as they want without the risk of violating the rules sometime in the future. Also, Workhorse is the first and only medium duty battery electric vehicle manufacturer to receive approval from both the EPA and the CARB. Also, there are currently 15 states that have announced the signing of an MOU or a Joint Memorandum of Understanding. And if you are still watching this video and haven't fallen asleep from boredom, I'm proud of you. And I'll go ahead and explain what an MOU is because it is 
quite exciting. An MOU is basically a written agreement between two or more parties. And this specific MOU says that the participating states will aim to completely eliminate the sale of new diesel trucks by 2050 in their states and targets a 30% reduction in diesel truck sales by 2030. So this is one of the main reasons I think there is so much hype around not only workhorse stock, but all of these other electric vehicle companies right now, such as Hylion, Nikola, Tesla, and all of these others. Because while we have enough oil to easily last us another 100 years, governments around the world and in the US will force adoption of electric vehicles long before oil runs out. So whether you are happy about that or mad about it, that is the direction we are heading in. Okay, the third update on Workhorse stock is that they have started delivering their C-Series vans to Ryder. Now, Ryder is a transportation and logistics company that sells and rents commercial vehicles. And Ryder will offer the C-Series vans through their choice lease and select care product lines. And then we'll also make the C-Series vans available for short-term rentals through their co-op program. So Workhorse is hoping that this will give prospective buyers an opportunity to test out their C-Series vans, and then it will ultimately result in more sales in the future. Now, I did not see any hard numbers for how many C-Series vans will be sold the Ryder, but it's probably not a huge number since I would assume Ryder wants to first see what the demand ends up being before purchasing more. But if the demand ends up being very high, then that will be a huge benefit for Workhorse. But we will just have to wait and see what it ends up being. The other reason I doubt it was a huge number is because currently Workhorse is on target to manufacture somewhere between 300 to 400 C-Series vans this year. So it will be interesting to see how well the C-Series series vans perform through the agreement with Ryder and if customers like them or not. Because in order for this stock to go higher, Workhorse will need to ramp up production and sell thousands of C-Series vans a year, not just hundreds. But this is a very good starting point and if Workhorse can get their C-Series vans out to more last mile delivery companies, that will be a big catalyst for the stock in the long run. So overall, this is great news for Workhorse as a company and they are moving in the right direction with the moves that they are making right now. But Workhorse stock is not the only electric vehicle manufacturer that is performing well right now. And I've done a lot of other videos on some other electric vehicle stocks you might be interested in. So go ahead and click one of those videos on the screen now to keep watching and discover some more electric vehicle stocks that might be a good fit for your portfolio. Also consider hitting that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. I put out videos every single week that are informative and helpful for investors just like yourself. So with that guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.